Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Here is where I like to share with you how to do home decor DIYs on a really teeny tiny budget. It can be anywhere from farmhouse to rustic to trash to treasure, boho chic, you name it. I just love doing it and I love sharing it with you as well. And now just on a side note, I was I feel like my Dollarama haul was a big hit. You guys, you know, were really um, intrigued as to what I was buying at the Dollarama and what I used to incorporate into my craft. So again, I'm not trying to, I don't want to do this type of video all the time, but I think you guys did appreciate it. So I think every maybe two, three videos, I'll do a Dollarama haul. And just let me know in the comments below, do you guys like Dollar Tree as well? I do get some of my supplies from the Dollar Tree and uh, they do have a big crafting section as well that super cheap and everything's a dollar 25. So you gotta kinda, you do, you do have to do your research a little bit with Dollarama and Dollar Tree, but I just love them both and Maybe what I could do is do a D, uh, like a, uh, a haul video, but I can do a split right in half. I can do like a dollar rama at the beginning and then I can do a dollar tree at the end. So let me know in the comments if that's what you want me to do. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you two trash to treasure DIYs. Now I wanted to change these DIYs into more farmhouse decor for our kitchen counter. Now our, I'll show you at the very end of the video, you'll see what our kitchen counter looked like before and you'll see what it looks like after. I wanted these two pieces to kind of create something a little bit more functional in our kitchen because I feel like, you know, we moved in two years ago and you know, you move in, you just put things down and then you forget about them and you just leave them there. Well, you know, I just feel like that wasn't really working for us. So I wanted to just do a little clean up and make things look a little bit nicer and more organized. So these items I already had on hand. So this video was pretty much zero dollars to make. So very, very affordable. And you may also have these kitchen items on hand that you could also um, upcycle and create a more farmhouse rustic theme for your liking as well. Now in my videos, I normally show you, you know, a DIY and then I'll show you the result of it afterwards. This one, just because there's only two and they both go together, I want to show you at the end of the video. So stick around to the end. Again, you'll see a before and after just of our kitchen counter, not the whole, the whole kitchen. And for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you as well. And for those of you who are new, if you want to stick around and learn a lot more with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You'll see it just on the lower right. That'll bring you to my channel and it'll let you know every single time I upload a new video. And if you could also give it a big thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And this also helps to support my channel as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's begin. The first DIY, I'm just going to use this serving tray. I, I think it was like a gift basket that I got a few years ago with like bath stuff on it. Anyway, here's a picture of what I used it for, just like a centerpiece for Christmas. And I just thought, you know what, it needed a little bit of a, an uplift. So I'm going to start by removing the handles. And I use these screwdrivers from the Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to test them out because I've never used them before. And in my opinion, I think they held up really well. As you can see the tip here, like it didn't look like any damage whatsoever. So I wanted to give the tray some height. So I had these wooden beads. I think they were called doll heads from Michaels. So go in the wood section and you'll find them there. Now, what I'm gonna do to adhere them, here's a trick that I like using. So this is called E6000. You can find this at Michaels as well. I thought this was the cheapest because you can still get that 40% off coupon. Now. E6000 is a very good industrial glue, so that's a very high-end sturdy glue. It's like Gorilla Glue. Now, that, it still takes a good 12 hours to dry. So what I do is I use a little bit of my hot glue gun to give it an instant stick. And then that way, after 12 hours, you've got these feet on there permanently. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that same spray paint by Premier from Canadian Tire. So that can has lasted me for one thing already. Now here it is all painted white. Now there are some splotches there, but I'm going to be making it rustic and weathered looking. So that to me, one coat was all it needed. Now I'm going to use some uh, Deco Art silver acrylic paint. Now I just thought the silver, I didn't have gray. So, but I thought the silver was just as good to go with like our kitchen backsplash. So I'm doing that same technique, that bride dress, uh, sorry, <laughs> the bra dry brushing technique. Blah, 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 let's say that time <laughs> 10 times fast. And I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of the gold acrylic paint as well, just to give it that weathered farmhouse look. Now it looks very shiny because of the light. So I turned it off here just so you can get a better idea of what it really looks like. So I didn't really want to use the existing handles that came on it. So in order to make it look a little bit more farmhouse, I used some nautical rope that I had in my, my craft stash, as we can say. And I'm just going to cut two um, pieces equal length. And I'm going to just hot glue them to cover the holes of where the handles were before. Now, when I was trying to unscrew it, like not the screwdriver's fault, but one of the screws broke so I didn't really do anything to remove it I just hot glued the rope over top of it and it was fine nobody nobody will know <laughs> I love the way the nautical rope looks on this tray. It definitely makes it look way more farmhouse to me. I also noticed that when I put everything together, the the feet of the tray looked too washed out from the tray. Like you couldn't really see them. So I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. So I went over it with a little bit more gold acrylic paint. Now you'll see this result at the end of the video. So for the second DIY, this is just using one of our old uh, utensil canisters. It's been around for quite a few years. It's getting a little rusty, a little wear and tear. So I'm just going to use the same spray paint, the premier spray paint from Canadian Tire and just one coat. Now I'm just using a Kleenex box just to elevate it. And you know what I would love to get actually, I'd like to get like a cheap, cheap, lazy Susan. And that would maybe help me, you know, spray paint it and just roll around instead of me walking around it. <laughs> So here's what it looks like all done. I just wanted to still give it a little bit more of that farmhouse theme. So I'm just going to wrap around some jute twine on the top of the canister. I just hot glued it in one spot, wrapped it around four times, and I'm just going to hot glue at the where I basically started. So I don't have hot glue kind of going all around the edge of the, the canister. So I'm just going to add a tassel. I didn't really show you how I made it because I've showed you a couple times in my previous DIY videos, but I, so I attached the tassel. I ended up burning off any of the extra fibers and made sure the tassel was nice and smooth. And then there is the final result. So stick around. You'll see my before and after kitchen DIYs. Hey, this is the big reveal for the new countertop makeover. So I have, I just put one of my pictures from a previous DIY video in here just to spruce it up a little bit. And then we have our coffee maker with our coffee and sugar together before it was like coffee maker, um, toaster, then coffee and sugar together. So it just wasn't functional. So now that we have them both together, this is even better. And we don't use our toaster too often. So I just tucked it under the counter for now and then whenever we need it we can just take it out so and then here we go this is the result of my trash to treasures I am so excited how they turned out very farmhouse to me I love how it's super um super rustic and weathered looking and 
what's even better about these two is that it cost me no money whatsoever. I had everything on hand already. And the only thing I do notice with this is that um, with all the, the items on top, it was a little bit top heavy. So I think what I'm gonna do later on is just reinforce it maybe with another one of these wooden beads and just maybe hot glue it in the middle of the tray underneath and just give it a little bit more support. But anyway, I am super, super happy with this. And you know, I feel like it's just more functional. Everything is in one spot. So anyway, <laughs> let's move on. And then we got this still, and then here we go. I had, this is where all the oils were before. So it just, you know, and then I had this little picture of this French cuisine theme, um, not our style anymore. I just gave it away on one of our buy nothing sites on Facebook. So now I can use the knives. Everything's more spacious here can see my, my blender now. I'm super excited about that. I only use it in the winter normally for baking, but you know, it was buried behind our canister with the utensils. So this way it's now open and more exposed and it just looks, looks nice. <laughs> and then of course our cutting boards. So I use one of these, I guess it's just like a, well, it's a rack, but it's, you know, you put your baking sheets on there or your, um, pots and pan lids on there. So we're just using it as um, as a cutting board stand. And you know, I think it's great. And then we also got this bamboo cutting board from the Dollar Tree. And like, I think it works perfectly. And I have nothing wrong, nothing bad to say about these two Dollar Tree items. So, and then we just have our wine rack that I got from the in-laws. And just to show you that I do not drink very often, we bought, this bottle of wine like three years ago when we got engaged still haven't used it well let me know in the comments is this wine still good to drink now if i were to open it i don't know how long wine can sit on the shelves like i i get like the whole vintage wines in the, the cellar you know but can i drink this anyway <laughs> so there you go fun fact about me not a big drinker <laughs> And then that is it guys. So I hope you guys had a great time. Hopefully you can get inspired and maybe look at some things that you have in your home that you can easily fix up before throwing it out or giving it away. See what you can do to give it a little, you know, pick me up, a little spruce up and this is what you can get, something functional like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to stick around, go ahead and subscribe. That way you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. And that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you at the next video. Take care.